so much everyone for staying with us. Let's focus on the state of the nation and some of these issues that we have been having conversations over and how we can get over and get on with the uh, work and the business of fixing Nigeria. I'm being joined tonight by the national chairman of the Labour, Zenith Labour Party, Chief Dan Oweyahu. Uh, he was the former national chairman of the Labour Party. Interesting, I mean, they released uh, the national chairman of the Labour Party, Julius uh, Abure, the party that you headed some times ago. Yes, I was going to issue a statement today that they should let him be. They should release him, let him go and conduct his primaries. Then you can go ahead to investigate whatever allegation. The leader of their party have said, okay, they are going to have independent inquiry. You see, there are things you do at security agencies. You give an impression that you want to, you don't want certain political parties or persons to have their freedom. You don't just ambush him in a door and arrest him. No matter, invite him. I also didn't like the way he was humiliated. You don't force him to sit on the floor. You see, you see the problem in the Labour Party is, is not something that you have, to, you have to fight at the eve of a primary. Why do you think that the, the counter-accusation, counter-accusation over corruption, over money spent, why do you think that this is going on in the Labour Party? Honestly, because I read your resignation letter when you left. It, I'm wondering, you say you left over 400 million or thereabouts. I left 460 billion in the party to my successor, not Jilo Sabure. When I was leaving, Jilo Sabure was secretary in Edo. You see, I have restricted myself from talking. But with what I saw, I knew someday something would happen. You, you see, I left for 60 million, and within three months, the money was blown. I can stay here and give you three transactions that brought the money. And I, I called the, my successor and said, ah, they say you're not moving money into a private account, Sasan Nigeria Limited, a co bank, uh, uh, AP Plaza. He said, let him check. I said, ah, as you can't become Dangote's account that you wouldn't know when money entered. I gave him two days. He came back. I said, what did you find out? He said, well, that uh, I said, what happens if you didn't win any governor? As you had Mimiko then, how would you run the party? He said, chairman, you have done your own. Allow me to do my own. I said, really? He said, yes. I said, okay, this meeting is over. Leave my so, so you saw this problem coming? I knew it would come you see, when you work with people and all they know is money, money. And this was a party I ran. I, I had it. No allowance, no salary, no per diem, no official vehicle. The office used to run the party during, throughout the period was my private office, which I'm still using to today. And I, apart from money that came from Mimico from time to time, I used my money to run the party. I thought I was dealing with human beings. Immediately I left, they, they swallowed the 460 million in three months. And more money came because that time the party was getting acceptability. I said, ha, go and read the Wanyangu's resignation letter in the internet. In fact, at the time, they tried to involve the National Security Advisor, advisor as if the money that came from Akwa Ibom, 70 million, was meant for him. I put it in the letter. I knew that place would explode. Hmm. So is that I tried to restrict myself. What I cannot handle, I let it go. Let's talk about the state of the nation. That's the reason why I invited you. This is just an aside. Uh, what is going on in the country today? What in your mind do you think is the way out? Because that's what all of us are seeking, isn't it? Yes. I think uh, Nigeria is in a very precarious situation, uh, arising from uncontrollable inflation, and which has caused you know, lack of essential amenities, insecurity, and all that. But we must have to understand why we are here. So, you see, for eight years, we kept quiet. And the foundation for the destruction where we are now was laid. You mean under the Buhari government? Of course. President Buhari destroyed this country. What do you mean by that? Is that fair to say? Look, those of us who spoke at that time, we are called bad losers. But we knew we would get here. Unfortunately, President uh, Tidibu is the man now carrying the thing. 
as if it started here. But it's the same party. But we must put at the point where the whole thing started. You could see all the discoveries. Money was released for certain things. They entered individual pockets. Dollars in millions and in billions were taken from the central bank into individual accounts for individual personal use. And you think the economy will stand? Is it your view that there is a lot of corruption in that government? Of course, the, 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 that government for eight years was the most corrupt government, all the governments put together. But that was the government that said it wants to fight corruption. It was just leave service. So it was here, I told you, that in 2010-11, I visited President Buhari in his house in Kaduna. Twice. There was no session I had less than two hours with him, one-on-one. -on -one. I had to beg him to come and take this same level party ticket for president. I spoke with General Buhari as he then was every Friday after mosque until he formed CPC. Until later, they have arrangement with uh, ACN, which brought APC. Osito Ketuku, Mustafa Salihu, who is now a senator, Buba Galadima, Suleiman, and myself we are the key people for Buhari. Let him come for a meeting. We we'll lead him. We we'll take him everywhere. Do you know I didn't see Buhari throughout the eight years? Not that I, I, I don't ask for anything. They do the right thing. Those things you told me in your house, why not do them? But is he a, is he a bad? Because the, the, the personality that, 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 of the Buhari personality is on one hand. Yes. The government of Buhari is another thing. Is the is Buhari it? that you met, that you knew, that you had conversation with, which you said is government, was the most corrupt government. Uh, put all the government together is the most corrupt government. In Nigeria. All the governments in Nigeria, all the corruption. Since, since 1960. Those, Buhari's government was the worst, or is still the worst. Since 1960. Can you, can you, can you give evidence? You're a lawyer. Can, uh, yeah, you, yeah, look, can look, you substantiate How many would statement? I... Do you want you to start with... Uh, there's so many that you, 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 you cannot be raising them. The facts are there. Even this present government has given us some tips of what they did. Buhari may not, they say he may not know, but the book ends on his table. And that's why I'm saying President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is the most experienced individual politician that became president. There is nobody that became president in this country that has his experience. Even about Peter Obi? Above Atiku Abubakar? Atiku Abubakar has not been president. He was a former governor. He Atiku. has not been a president. I'm talking of those that had become president. And that's why there is nothing. And he has got. President Tribu has got. So there is nothing he cannot change. But why are things looking difficult right now? Maybe he's taking his time. I'm not speaking for him and his party. Maybe he's taking his time, but that the time has come now that he must show his teeth and that he can bite with it. What would you, what do you think? If you were in President Tinubu's shoes, yes. and to fix some of these problems, because we are tired of hearing the problem. Fe we are feeling the problem, the pains, the anguish, the hardship is on us. Fe Every first, first of all, Shem, where that do we go from here? I, I have to look at the issue of this subsidy again. I have to look at it. All of us who contested that election agreed that we remove subsidy. My template was not to do it the way it was done. But President Tribu, I took Abubakar, and Peter B said, it will go from day one. I didn't say so. Go and see my manifesto. I had a project to fix Portacourt and water refinery within six months. I had the, I still had the, 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 the experts' projection on that and the fault they had. And that was why I came to say, after six months, nine months, I will save fuel for 100 naira. People ask me, how would you do it? What will be the rate of dollar when you'll be selling fuel for 100 naira? I said, dollar's rate will be consequential. And you don't think that market forces might... No, 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 no. You see, you see that's why I have given you one tip. Look at it. Do try your best endeavors to fix these two refineries that were supposed to be working. We in understand that in the next few months that uh, 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 or worry yes. might, be, might, yes. might so get let, us... Let, let him get it working. And then let us address all these social all these social interventions. Let them get to the people. Let them get to the people. It is hot out there. The president is not, now Nigerians must be patient. 
it is not by it is not by demonstrating by burning Nigerian flags. I read one professor instead of addressing the issue, he was saying uh, that he was surprised uncharacteristically while Igbos are not talking or involved in the demonstration. Why should Igbos be involved in the demonstration? They have been hungry for eight years. They are only just eight months. This president, for God's sake, is only eight months. But there was a group in Nigeria, the most hated tribe in Nigeria. You put them and put them in a dot and marched on them. They have been hungry for eight years. To the extent that they are now used to hunger. And one professor is saying, why are you not demonstrating? Where was his mouth when President Buhari showed ancient hatred on that tribe and their people? Where were those who are now talking both from the Senate and everywhere, attacking President uh, Tiribu? Is it, right to say President, is it right to say President Buhari showed hatred he had, he had, to, 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 he, to he had, certain people? He, he, had, he had ancient hatred against the Igbos. That may not be right. I am saying it now. He's my friend. I'm saying it. But you can't substantiate that I fact. I can substantiate it with facts. I can, brother, you know, you see, when you see where a bird is from, don't start asking how does a bird feed. Don't you agree that the Igbos are the most hated in Nigeria? As a group, I'm asking you. I mean, you, you have to substantiate that. Anyway, let us continue. You see, you won't do that to a tribe that had been... You see, the difference between others and Igbos is that when an Igbo man is hungry, you don't see it on his face. The people are making us, don't go and demonstrate. In fact, I, we have put up a committee. As I'm talking to you now, they are going around the entire Southeast, particularly the both states, telling the, our young people, don't come out. Don't demonstrate against President Tiribu's government. President Tiribu has nothing against the Ibos, and we have nothing against him. Don't go and demonstrate because they want to drag you out to shoot you young people. We have evidence to show that Igbos have always been the brunt of every single demonstration or every action in this country. They'll be singled out and be shot. Let our young people, those in the market, in fact, people are going to the market, don't come out. Continue with your endurance. Let nobody drag them in. So these are some of the things that they must have to be patient. Nigerians must be patient to see how these economic reforms will work. It is not by getting to the streets. I listened to the Senate President a few days ago, uh, Senator Pabio, that extra 30 below have been given to the governors. They must ensure that these things get down the line. It's not by looking for foreign exchange market. 30 billion is a big deal. Put one, one billion in every local government in your state, you will see the results. So don't push it to the center. Both national and subnational governments must do everything to ensure that is this problem of hunger is ameliorated. So it's a unanimous decision in the Southeast uh, not to uh, protest the In fact, our, our, in the our president, President Ohaneze Worldwide, uh, Chief Dr. Emmanuel Iwanyahu, has written on that. And that is the position of Igbos. We are not going to protest, though we are hungry. But the, we are, we are, we, the we, NLC had said that it will go on the street. No, the NLC is not Igbo. I'm talking about the tribes. You see, politics is local. Why are we tribalizing these issues? No, we are not tribalizing it because this is a tribe hated. They will bring the young people out. Among the crowd, they are the ones to be shot. Look at Ensas, who bought the bronze. The Igbo, Igbo, Igbo young men and women. Look at Matasena riots. The Igbo young women, all their shops were looted. Look at even when there is inter, intersect problem. Igbos will be at the bronze. So we have told them, as a patriot, we have told them, I don't want trouble in this country. I love this country. The day of demonstration, let every Igbo man or Southeasterner, anywhere in the country, when they're demonstrating, don't open your shop, don't go to work, stay in your house. When they finish, come out. Because they're going to be at the front. We have records to show that it is an attempt to shoot all these young people. So the professor that was deaf and dumb for eight years of Buhari, Professor Usman, please don't mention our people. We are coming to the conclusion we will do nothing against the president mm, because, government uh, and will not demonstrate against him. I think Igbos are some of the finest in mind, in looks, 
and in character that I've seen in this country. Yeah, and I yeah, do not, yeah, just for a moment, yeah. just for a moment, and, I, and I, I, I really do not like, because I do not like to be judged by the tribe or what part of the country that I come from. I'm a Nigerian, and let's debate on the issue of idea. When the issues of tribes are coming in, it's not pleasant for our country. Chewu. And I don't think it's, it's necessary, does Chewu. it? I am a patriot, not a tribalist. But for me to speak on this, I don't want our young people to die. I have never supported anything tribally, anything tribalism. When people do things based on tribe and religion, it pains me. But this has to do with life and death. But I, I have to alert our young people so that they don't die. Because if they come out and they are shot, they would have died on song and on wept. The question is that hunger does not know tribe or religion. Yes. So it, 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 the fact remains that if you cannot buy the same market we all go to, the question is if you are speaking to President Tunubu tonight, what would you be telling him in how this country must move forward have, and what needs to be done? I'll give you two instances. One, think and look at the issue of this subsidy. The way it was done, Mr. President, look at it again. Look at the finances, get them to work. These social interventions, money release, monitor it. Let it get to the Senator people. Senator Ndume yesterday was suggesting food stamps. Well, like, I mean, how, you see, that's another conduit pipe. How are you going to do it? I, I, I listened to him. America is not here. America is not here. Food stamp, all the details are there, addresses are there. You can easily cross-check whether they got it or not. Yeah, we don't even know those who are Nigerians and those who are where they are. And that's why our children were fed during Buhari's government, during COVID, when they were in our homes. But hundreds of billions of naira were spent to feed their children and mine when they were in our homes. It happened before our very eyes. Chief Zanewayahu, many thanks. I really appreciate your time tonight. He is the uh, national chairman of the Zenin Labour Party. He was on the ballot also in the 2023 presidential election. Thank you so much, Indy, for your time. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Okay.